Thanks for watching. Today we're going to talk about how to shape a backsplash around a window and cabinets and stuff. So the first thing you want to do is go to the tops tab, make sure you have your countertops already put in. Um, and then you want to set your splash height, however you want, how you want your backsplash. So if you want a 24 inch backsplash, set this at number at 24 inch. The next thing you want to do is right click on it and hit shape backsplash. Then you want to go to the line that you're working on here and you want to split it. And I'll usually split it a few times. Split, split, and you need another one, maybe even more. So it will lock on to cabinet parts usually. Well, maybe not. It'll definitely lock onto the window corner. So just move your points to where you want them. Uh, let's split that again. And split this again. Oops. And then just hit accept edits and boom, now you have a splash. You can also change the texture here. You can bring in your own texture. Just make sure it's a JPEG and nothing, not a PNG or anything like that. So you just drag that in, click whatever splash you want. And then as you can see, we have the splash. I'll show you the full room. So you do have to do that for each um, wall individually. At least the shaping of the thing part, you do have to do that individually. So yeah, that's basically how you do that. There's a few other features I can show you. I don't think you'll, you may not use them, but so when you're shaping, you can also bulge something if you ever need to do that I don't know why you'd need to for a splash anyways but that's basically it there's not really uh, anything out to it other than that um, shape your splash around the windows and the cabinets and then it will also give you an accurate readout on your if you're doing it for quartz counters you can run your quartz off the wall it'll give you an accurate amount for that as well Thanks for watching. Have a good one.